Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today's challenge is Create Pythagorean Cup Challenge. Now, the Pythagorean Cup, as we all know, is named after the great Pythagoras. Uh, we all are familiar with the Pythagoras theorem, which is a square plus b square equals c square. And a and b are the vertical and horizontal sides of a right triangle, and c is the hypotenuse or the diagonal, if you will. So, and a, b, and c, these numbers are called Pythagorean triplets. For example, uh, 3, 4, and 5. 3 square plus 4 square equals 5 square. Now, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, and 9 plus 16 is 25, yeah, which is 5 square. So, 3, 4, and 5 are Pythagorean triplets. And by the way, a uh, great Indian scientist, Ramanujan, has done fantastic, fantastic work on the Pythagorean triplets. Uh, the number of minus 163 is an amazing, amazing number, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, today, our focus is on creating Pythagorean cup. Now, what's Pythagorean cup? Well, as the story goes, Pythagoras was a very ingenious person and he designed a lot of mechanical items. One among them was a cup that he designed and uh, the story goes that whenever he had a happy thing to share with his students, what he would do is he would bring out these cups and say, well, okay, today, uh, you know, let's uh, drink something, juice or uh, water or whatever. Uh, maybe wine, we don't know. So, but <laughs> let's assume uh, Pythagoras is very happy and he says, okay, uh, we are gonna enjoy by drinking orange juice or apple juice. And he would then give, uh, he would then give uh, this responsibility of filling the cups to one of his students. And then he would say, look, be careful, be honest, uh, distribute the juice equally among all the students. If you are, uh, if you try to fill your cup more than the others, then it's not good for you. And the student, unbeknownst to what Pythagoras is up to, would, uh, this, as the story goes, uh, most of the time new students would actually try to fill their cup a little bit more than the rest of the students. And Pythagoras had actually marked the cups and the instruction would be not to fill beyond that mark in the cup but the student especially a new student he would go a bit up so he would try to fill you know, a few drops extra in his cup and what would happen then is that the whole cup would empty and <laughs> that's kind of magical isn't it and so today's challenge is let's see if we can create a Pythagorean cup from everyday household items. So that's the story behind this challenge and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's see the things we need for this challenge. So first we need a bottle. So here I have uh, three kilograms. Is it three? Yes, three kilogram uh, bottle of honey, which has just emptied, and so I cleaned it, uh, dried it, and I brought it here for the experiment. And what I have done is actually I have cut it, and that's also your clue, actually, in a way. So this is like a cup, yeah. A Pythagorean cup. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to 
you know, recycle the bottle, and I think that's uh, a good use of the bottle. This one is not much use actually, but um, it might be, we don't know. So, probably when the cup leaks, the water can fall into this. Anyway, so that's the first thing. And apart from that, what we need is, yes, a straw pipe. So this is the theme for the month, straw pipe, and a pair of scissors. Uh, in the last experiment, I used the pair of scissors to cut. And some of the students, uh, when they came to the class said, well, you didn't say we can use a pair of scissors. So uh, let me just clear it to all of you now. You can use a pair of scissors and in fact tape. Uh, those are like, I don't need to mention that in the future as well. Uh, just think, just take these things as, you know, a must have when doing the size challenges. So a pair of scissors, tape, even if I don't mention in the challenge, it's okay to use them. Uh, anyway, so that's everything that we need. Uh, and of course, actually, something sharp like a screwdriver or this strong pin. So something strong like a nail, uh, yeah, that's all we need. Alright, thank you for uh, brainstorming about how to make the Pythagorean cup. Now, let's see how we can do it. So, first thing that you need is the lid, okay? And what I have done here is I already have made a hole, uh, but that's what you need to do. Make a hole in the lid, and that hole should be tight enough to uh, let this uh, straw pass, but not much. What I mean to say is it should let the straw pass through it, but very tightly so that no water drops drop from this end. So all you need to do is make a small cut. And this small cut actually creates a kink here. And that kink allows us to pass this tube very tightly so that only the tube passes let's see if I can show you it's a little bit of a challenge uh, because it bent all right let's try once again yeah go 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 I wish I had a 360 degree camera so that I could show you every side of it. Okay, it's not working, so let's cut it. Alright, and make another pink here. Maybe a longer one. Yeah, maybe one centimeter. And so, what it does is it gives us the opportunity to. Yes, now we have it. So, now we can pass this thing through and once you have done that about two fingers out you can then bend and this actually is basically Pythagorean cup uh, it's nothing but a siphon system within a cup and it was the ingenuity of Pythagoras that he was smart enough to do this so that's it and it depends on how deep do you want the cup to fill so try to you know make it as straight as possible here if you have to tie something or apply some glue here uh, super glue or something so that it stays in position and that's that's a very uh, simple Pythagorean cup now take the bottle and tighten the lid 
Now what happens here is, because this end is very very tight, no water will leak through it. And that's very important actually. And, uh, now, let's uh, discuss a little bit more. Now, if this pipe was like long enough until here, it would actually empty the whole thing, uh, but we don't have that. So what we can do is, and this is impromptu, it just came to my mind. So we can actually, we have the straw leftovers from our last experiment. So we can actually, yeah, make it a bit longer. Let's see. Uh, Ta-da! Yes, I think we can cut until here. And this portion, we can again create a kink, a small kink here. And yeah, fill it. Now this has to be very, very airtight. So just to make sure, let's apply some tape here. But you don't have to, again. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It will work just fine. Uh, but with the tape, we are a little bit more assured. And now what you can do is you can actually bring a little bit of the straw back. Yeah, and again, push it down, push the this end a little bit down, making sure that the other this straw support itself with the lid. Okay, here we go. And all right, I think our cup is ready. Okay, so this is the Pythagorean cup, and if you try to fill the cup above this level, actually, all of the liquid will. Uh, fall down outside of the cup down this drain all right let's see uh, if you can do that but for that I need some water so I'll be back <laughs> okay I'm back with the water and also always keep a few tissue papers or towels handy all right let's uh, get started so I don't know if we can show it here properly. So first, let's open the water bottle. And yeah, here we have our Pythagorean cup. All right, nothing is happening, as you can see. But as soon as we cross, Oh, look at that! So the siphon starts working. Uh, as soon as you go above the hump of the siphon, uh, it will start draining the water out. Actually, it's getting <laughs> bigger. I don't think it will be able to contain. Uh, this container can contain all the water, so I'm gonna... Okay. And as you can see, it's going to empty almost all of the contents of the Pythagorean cup because we increased the tube on the other side of the cycle. And so in this way, the Pythagorean cup, if you try to fill it above the hump of the siphon, it will end up emptying everything, all of the liquid in the cup, which it did, yes. Very, very amazing concept. Now I showed it using this recycled bottle of honey, but actually you can make it a much, much easier way using plastic cups. And I don't know, you can use it as a, as a trick you can prepare maybe three or four cups and challenge someone, a friend or, I don't know, a family member, 
in this time of self quarantine i think you have a lot of time staying at home nothing else to do so this might be a good experiment <laughs> where you can challenge your family members if they can you know fill their cups with more juice or whatever milk than you than your cup and make all the cups at the same level you know the siphon hump at the same level and as soon as uh, your friend or family member tries to fill their cup with a bit more of the liquid uh, they will end up emptying the whole thing now be careful because it involves liquids and liquids as you know when they flow they can leak out so be careful with this as well uh, if you are not very sure uh, of the tightness of this point apply some i don't know some gum tape uh, to make it full proof watertight so that's very important anyway so that was our challenge we created <laughs> pythagorean cup and i hope uh, you have fun making uh, the pythagorean cup and challenging your friends and students thank you for watching this video till the end and as always please subscribe spread this word like comment and i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye